look, I made a post a while back where I said it was going to be a really good season for rap. I knew once they, once I saw the preview of um, Wayne's verse from Brand New and then J. Cole's verse from First Person Shooter, I said it's going to be a good season for rap. I didn't know World War III was going to break out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, all hell has broken loose in the hip hop space, man. It, it, it's ridiculous. So, of course, first we got First Person Shooter with Drake and J. Cole, where, you know, both of them, they pretty much crowned themselves as the, the pinnacle of the uh, of of current of current day hip hop, them two, um, J Cole actually said it was um, it was them, it was him, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar. He's, they said they the big three, like they started a league. If you know Ice Cube started the big three, and, yeah. So in any case, basically that's it. Them three are the top of the league now. For some reason, that offended Kendrick Lamar. I have no idea why. <laughs> I guess because for reasons that will be explained as this video goes on, you know, uh, Drake's, Drake threw some subliminal, uh, subliminal disses. Uh, he's been throwing subliminal disses out there. So, yeah. So, Kendrick was basically like, man, fuck the big three. It's just big me, basically saying, fuck both of y'all. I'm on top. I'm the top dog. So I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay. Like, shit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so there was a meme that was going around that said, uh, that said, future assemble the, the Insidious Six <laughs> to take on Drake. <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, at this point, yeah, so we got so we got Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar. The weekend, if you can believe that. It, well no, let me take that back, cause cause Pray For Me was a hard ass song and I could I could I could picture I could put that in the mind of a disc. But not like <laughs> even the weekend is getting involved with this. Oh man, and then um, Quavo and Chris Brown are going at it. it. Man, Chris Brown can rap. <laughs> Bro, like, man, if you haven't seen that verse, let, look, just just look up Chris Brown, Chris Brown diss on YouTube, like, man. Man. <laughs> But no, uh, so uh, Kendrick responded on Future and Metro Boomin song like that with his verse, where he said, "Man, he said, no, I'm on top. Fuck both of y'all, basically." And yeah, that led to J Cole responding with Seven Minute Drill, which going in a lot of people's. Uh, <laughs> based off of a lot of people's criticism could have been the best song in, in the whole series in the whole like that like that song was that song was a was a decapitator man like, <laughs> and then J. Cole would then subsequently apologize because it, it disturbed his spirit I can understand on a maturity level, but I wouldn't have apologized. I'm sorry. Like, no, like you, you throwing shots at me for no reason when I just, I, all I did was try to big up you and yeah, no, nah, man, no, nah, no, nah. you, you're not taking your song down. So I'm not taking my song down. All right. <laughs> but nevertheless, that, so, so at this point, J. Cole dropped out of the uh, out of the beef. So <laughs> um, Drake responded with push-ups, drop and give me 50, which was which was pretty good. It was pretty good. 
and then Kendrick just responded with euphoria. Man. <laughs> Listen, like, go go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna this is just my reaction to the to everything that's going around. Like, yo, this is World War Three. Like, cause we got so many hands in this cookie jar, and it's not even actually I don't even know. The, the Quavo Chris Brown beef don't have doesn't have any bearing on on the uh, Drake versus Future versus actually I don't even know what the, I gotta look that up to see what uh, what uh, what what how they even started beefing but no it's between the Drake versus it's really Drake and Kendrick Lamar at this point but yeah like J Cole. I, I don't know, he's still catching fade, he's, that's fade, shit, because in Euphoria, he said this is a friendly fade, so treat it, so treat it that way, but then, like, turn around and, yeah, but anyway, that's why fade got stuck in my head, but, but yeah, like, <laughs> but anyway, like I said, it's pretty much between Drake and Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar at this point, because, like, even with Drake, pushing Kendrick to respond saying all right you got 24 hours 48 hours to respond or whatnot yeah Kendrick said man fuck that I'm gonna take my time <laughs> so and man yeah he yeah <laughs> like, like that song was like he called out Drake because he was like so basically what what Kendrick what Kendrick's song was saying was since when was Drake tough and I said damn like <laughs> he said I like the Drake with the melody <laughs> I don't like to drink that act. <laughs> oh man, but um, but no, like this is a uh, this is a good season. I like I like seeing these guys spar with each other and everything. And it's like there's no like it's like you know you know that no violence is gonna come from this. It, these are just guys just get just getting everything that they got off of their chest, man. And it's yeah, it, it, it's funny. <laughs> but in any case, what do you think about what I prefer to call World War Three? And again, I know that this is this is tame considered uh, com, ah, compared to beefs from back in the day, like where like they was like real like deep seated and embedded hatred. But what is your um, what is your response to what I call World War Three? What's your reaction? Put your comments in the comment section down below. Let's chop it up. Uh, my name's Advanced. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on everything. Let's just have this conversation, man. I'm out. <laughs>